Hi, Cancers. This is the Empress. Welcome. Welcome to Empress Speaks. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. Just to let you guys know, these are general reads, so they will not resonate with every single Cancer. However, if it does happen to resonate, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, as well as subscribe, okay? All right, so being that these are general reads, um, and we also have cross watchers, um, if this message does not happen to apply, make sure you guys check out your moon rising as well as um, your Venus sign as well. Okay, so this is going to be for sun, moon, and rising cancers. All right. Oh, hold on. Let's see. You guys had jumpers. All right, cancels. Cancels. Interesting. If you guys happen to hear some noise in the background, um, those are my kids back there. All right, so let's take a look at what's going in and what's going on for my cancers. Some of you guys are celebrating being single. Some of you guys are possibly partying, living a good life, hanging out. Some of you guys are celebrating. Um, but I feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys possibly have new love coming in. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers for my cancers. What messages do we have for cancers? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Please give me messages for cancer. All right, guys. Now, for past energy, guys, we have finances and career. So some of you guys were really, really zoned in and focused in on your finances, okay? Um, presently, some of you guys are trying to take back control of your life, okay? Some of you guys are deciding that you need to free yourself. And for some of you guys as well, going into the, new, the near future, some of you guys have new love coming in. Congratulations. All right, so let's take a look and see what's what. What's going on? Yeah. All right, let's hop straight into it. All right, so for finances and career, some of you guys, we got the Queen of Cups, which is you guys, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. We also have the Sun card here, which is the um, card of Leo. Um, we have the Strength card here, which is also the sign of Leo. Um, so I feel like some of you guys were really, really happy um, or trying to gain some clarity um, in regards to your finances, trying to figure out your finances and your career. I feel like some of you guys did gain some courage and some strength. There's a decision that possibly needed to be made in regards to your finances here with the Seven of Cups. There could have been possibly a lot of different options in front of you. Um, and some of you guys were needed to make a clear, conscious, conscious decision in regards to your career and your finances. Presently, we have Free Yourself. So it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so some of you guys have decided, look, I'm going to take back control of my life. I feel like there could have possibly been some feelings of defeat. Some of you guys could have possibly been in some type of conflict or having some type of issues. Um, but the five of swords is telling me that there's conflict or a sign of defeat. Okay. I feel like some of you guys have decided to walk away from what no longer serves you. Um, if the situation is toxic, there could also be a Capricorn involved. Um, but I feel like some of you guys are releasing things that no longer serve you. Congratulations. That is awesome, Cancer. That is great. All right. So for future energy here with new love. Um, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Some of you guys are going to be having new love coming in. Okay, so it looks like with the world card here, it looks like there's there's celebrating of success. Um, maybe some of you guys are deciding to close a chapter here with this world card. I um, mean, some of you guys could be celebrating that you're closing out a chapter, okay? So it's possible that after you walk away from a situation that no longer serves you, someone new comes in, I um, mean, you're deciding to close the chapter on the old chapter and start a new. I um, mean, some of you guys could be celebrating that, okay? Um, I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, there could be a Virgo male or female coming in. Um, but I am sensing um, there's, you still having your guard up. I sense that. Some of you guys are still feeling pretty guarded here with this seven of wands, okay? Some of you guys are 
still standing your ground and you're not really ready to completely let your guard down. So it's like someone comes in new, um, but you're not just willing to drop your guard down immediately once you um, this new love comes in. You have to see what they're about, right? So those are the love oracle messages that I have for you guys. We're going to do a quick spread here really quick. And I'm going to get out of you guys' hair. <laughs> All right, so what additional messages do you have for cancers? What messages do you have for my cancers? What messages do you have for my cancers? Sun, moon, and rising. Sun, moon, and rising cancers. What messages do you have for my cancers? Sun, moon, rising Venus. All right, guys, let's get it. We got the nine of swords. So some of you guys have been stressing, have been worried a little bit, okay? There's some conflict here. And you're not wanting to go back and forth. You're not wanting to go back and forth. And this conflict is possibly stressing you out. Okay. So you're not willing to go back and forth. My, I feel like some of you guys are trying to keep your feelings to yourself. Um, maybe some of you guys are not being honest about how you feel as well. Guards are up. Definitely. Um, and you guys are definitely having regrets here. It's something that you're holding on to. It's some feelings or emotions that you possibly are holding on to. Um, here with the seven of swords, I feel like some of you guys could be, you know, trying to hide your feelings, trying, you know, aren't being honest with how you really feel. You're trying to keep your feelings to yourself. Um, but I definitely do feel as if you guys is guard is up. There's something that you're unsure about here. Um, there are some changes in the past and you just, you know, you just have your guard up. It's something that you're uncertain about. Maybe you're walking into new territory, but I feel like going into the near future, you guys, I feel like there could be a little bit of flirting going on, but I feel like someone is, you could be feeling stuck, um, with someone presenting you some type of offer or you're afraid to extend an offer to someone. Um, and these, this can be either or, guys. Keep that in mind um, that this could be you doing this to someone or someone could be behaving like this towards you. Um, but there's something um, that was said that's possibly you guys are dealing with some type of regrets. Maybe there's a regret of saying something. And that could involve a, a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's some regretful news or there's regrets here. Why is the four of pentacles here? I feel like some of you guys don't want to repeat from um, something before because we got the six of cups here. And it's like not wanting to return or uh, don't want not wanting to repeat. So you guys are putting your guard your guards are up. Why is the four of pentacles here? Why is the four of pentacles here? You're holding on to hope up. Some of you guys are holding on to hope. You want to move on. You wish you could move on. But it's something that you're holding on to. This Ace of Cups. Let's see why this Ace of Cups is here. What's this Ace of Cups here? All right. We got the Four of Wands. Okay. Maybe some of you guys are wanting some um, a new love, something stable, fresh. Um, some type of new beginning. This you may feel like someone isn't trying, um, or isn't putting in any effort here. So I feel like with that four of wands, this even talks about marriage. Okay, so you're holding on to hope. You're holding on to hope to the fact that look, I can still have love. Okay, I can still have love. I can still have a family. I can still get married. I can still have all of these things. Okay, I can have anything that I want. And I feel like some of you guys are, there's something, some type of scorn from the past that you're you're not trying to repeat. So your guard is definitely up. Your guard is definitely up. Definitely. Some of you guys are possibly like afraid to say something and you're waiting for someone to uh, offer you something to make some type of offer. Why is the hangman here? I feel like that's what this future energy is. Um, some of you guys are afraid to say something, but what, what are y'all what are afraid of? You got, to, you got to say it. 
You know, you can't be afraid to express how you feel. Whatever you want, you got to put that out. You got to go ahead and put that out there in the universe. Why is the hangman here? Okay, we got the five of pentacles. This is feelings of being rejected or left out in the cold. So if there's something that you that you want or something that you feel that you need, you need to speak up, guys, because that's going into the near future energy. I feel, I feel like someone's afraid to say something here. So you're waiting for somebody to offer. And it could have something to do with regards to finances or feelings of being left out in the cold or a lack of, of a resource. Um, so whatever it is that you need, guys, just go ahead and put it out there. Ask for exactly what you want. OK, ask for what you want. All right. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. All right. So this is your February 2019. I hope you guys continue to stay tuned in with me. I have many, many more readings to come throughout the month of February, guys. OK, Mwah. ciao for now.